five the win, two dollars fifteen the place from number two Trinket. Returning a dollar ten and no third dividend on number six Mount Arm. Four, two and six, all clear. Race seven at Mooney Valley. Party line five double two nine double oh is the number and hello to all the Giles House boys from Michelle Williams and Josie Erlison. Also hello to uh, to the Yarara girls from Arlene and hello to all the gang at Sean's party. Love all the gang at Hanging Rock and also hello to Colleen from John. One to ten, news is next. If my brother spent a little more time on himself than he spends on that car of his, he'd probably have more luck with the girls. If he washed more often... I've got to polish the car. If he cleaned his teeth and brushed his hair... I've got to clean the upholstery. Ate the right food. Always use super. He'd look good and feel great too. I'd tell him, but he's got his head stuck in a car of his. A message from the Pharmaceutical Society and the Commonwealth Department of Health. Hey, pass the spanner, would ya? Jerk. It's gonna be cosmic. It's gonna be a great night for all. Yeehaw! NOJ is proud to present the Cosmic Cowboy Night at the Verdi Club coming up this Thursday. It'll be a fantastic night of live country music. Ted Egan, a visiting tour of Texans, giveaways and much, much more. Come dressed in cowboy style and welcome Halley's Comet in a big way. Tickets are just $5 and are available from 8OJ, the Birdie Club and Blue Strings Men's Land. The Cosmic Cowboy Night coming up this Thursday from 8pm at the Birdie Club or welcome under special license. 8OJ, 10 o'clock. Inquiring out from you, good evening. I'm Alan Murrell. An RAAF Orion has left Edinburgh Air Force Base to airlift a sick baby from Alice Springs to Adelaide. The infant is believed to be suffering a respiratory complaint and the aircraft is carrying a medical crew and neonatal equipment to help the child. Firefighters will continue to keep close watch on a huge bushfire which this afternoon threatened the central New South Wales town of Goulburn. Lance Northey reports. Police say bushfires threatening the Goulburn area on the New South Wales southern tablelands have been controlled. However, a state of emergency declared in the area yesterday will remain in force until later today. Fire units from the south coast and as far away as Sydney fought the blaze, which destroyed a number of factories on the outskirts of the town. Several firefighters suffered minor injuries, including one volunteer who suffered a broken leg. The fire began about midday yesterday and by late afternoon had encircled the town. Lance Northey, Macquarie National News, Sydney. The state government has been warned that unless it provides more resources and manpower, it faces the prospect of mass resignations from the police force. Police Association Secretary Dan Brophy says the problem of officers leaving or being lured away from the force has been growing for some time. Mr Brophy says the trend is likely to continue unless urgent action is taken. Well, I believe that this year we'll probably see the highest rate of resignation from the police force ever experienced in its history. How high is that? Well, certainly uh, higher than the 130, 140, 150 as we've seen in the past. A large area of Adelaide's southern suburbs affected by a blackout this evening should have power restored shortly. ETSA says power in the Eden Hills Blackwood area was disrupted after a transformer fuse blew at about 8 o'clock. ETSA spokesman Ray Wood says because of the nature of the area, all power lines have to be checked before power can be restored. As it's still bushfire season, we had to patrol the entire line, and of course it's pretty rugged country, so our guys had to plow through some pretty thick bush to patrol the entire line to make sure it was safe to put the feeder back on. At this time of year, we have to patrol the line and make sure there's no fire risk at all before we put people on. It's obviously a nuisance for people who are without power, but on the other hand, it's safer that way than to risk causing a major conflagration. Police have been unable to find the source of the noise of a large explosion in the Parafield Gardens area. Reports were received from several residents across a wide area of the noise, but an extensive search by patrols has failed to find any reason for the noise. And finally, tonight's winning cross lotto numbers. The numbers you need are 20, 35, 15, 34, 39, 23, and the supplementaries are 18 and 8. And the winning Super 66 combination is 5, 8, 7, 4, 1 and 6. This is Macquarie National News. 900 at OJ for the Alice. Continuing farm with some locally raised dust. Moderate south east winds fresh at times. Down tonight to 20. Tomorrow's top 32.
And at five, three past ten, it's currently 23 degrees, racing Mooney Valley. It's Abu Hazan at the 150. Willie Bray has got two Torvanger. Then pacing Eros on the outside. Tendency making ground. Pacing Eros grabbing Willie Bray. Tendency the outsider starting to fly. Tendency got up right on the line and beaten Willie Bray and pacing Eros. Torvanger fourth, followed by Light Appeal. Then Al McColl back in behind them. Kid Creole.